Hi, I'm Jane Kurtz, and I am so happy to be here at Green Bean Books on my book birthday, reading my new book. I've come to Green Bean before in person. In fact, at my last reading, my sisters and I got to sing out on the patio. Green Bean is such a lovely place. If you haven't been here, you need to come here. There are stuffed animals. There are all kinds of treasures. And of course, there are lots and lots of books and staff who loves books and who can tell you the best books for you. And when you come to visit, you're going to see a painting not too far from here. And that has a little part to play in what I'm going to say about my new book. It's called Chickens on the Loose. It was published by West Margin Press and illustrated by John Joseph. And it was inspired by my neighborhood, which is not too far from here. I live in Portland and my neighbor's chickens kept coming into my yard. So if you look at these chicken footprints, I want you to think about chickens coming into my yard. And as I started thinking about where the chickens would go, if they could go anywhere, that's where I came up with the idea for chickens on the loose. So I think you'll see some things that have to do with Portland, including these little chicken houses that are in my neighborhood and maybe they're in your neighborhood too. So this is chickens on the loose. Chickens breaking loose, chickens on the lamb, zipping from the yard as quickly as they can. Stop, she calls the girl but the chickens will not stop. If you know Green Bean Books, you know there's lots of little stores near there, the kind of stores that I was thinking about when I wrote this part. Chickens on the loose, racing down the street, hopping up to window shop, clinging with their feet. Stop, yells the owner, but the chickens will not stop. My yoga studio is not too far from Green Bean Books too. Chickens on the loose, they trot, they lope, they jog. They duck into a studio to do some downward dog. Stop, calls the yogi, but the chickens will not stop. Now here's something that belongs to Portland, right? Do you have a favorite food cart? Chickens getting hungry, peckish from the chase taking stock around the block, a lovely food cart space. Stop, shouts a cook, but the chickens will not stop. Chickens quick and nimble, run along the street hitch a ride on skateboards to rest their aching feet. I'll bet you've seen skateboards in Portland. Maybe you even ride your skateboard in Portland. Notice this little chick. Maybe the chick is on the skateboard for the very first time, right? Chickens spot some paint cans, red and green and blue. They hop right off and quickly add an element or two. Stop, calls a cop, but the chickens will not stop. No one can stop these chickens. There's a city to explore. They spot a hamster on a wheel. They sneak into the store. They tiptoe up and down the aisles and then slip out the door. Do you suppose that the humans will have all disappeared while they're in the pet store? Nope, there they are. Stop, shouts everybody, but the chickens will not stop. No way, they say, we will not stay. It sounds like buck, buck, buck. It's pretty fun making chicken noises, isn't it? Let's make them together. Next time you hear a chicken making noises, you can think about what it's saying. Chickens dodge and scurry, they have to get away. Chickens in a hurry, they want more time to play. They charge around the corner. Oops. Here they see a Portland thing, right? Look out, four dogs, a cat. Chickens leap and hurdle. 
the humans follow. Uh-oh, what's going to happen now? Splat! <laughs> It'll be very fun for you to look closely at John Joseph's illustrations there. Chicken's weary now, much too tired to squawk, much too tired to plot or plan, almost too tired to walk. Chickens droop and yawn. They flop down on a lawn. Oops, here's come something that's very much like Portland. Plop, plop, raindrops. They know they must go on. Oh, good. The chickens made it safely home. Chickens safe at home, soothing tired legs. Time to put their feet up, maybe lay some eggs. Chickens fat and happy snoozing on the roost. Do you notice this little chick that was with them on the adventures? And maybe this is the little chick's brother and sister. Oops, yikes, that old mood strikes. Chickens on the loose. That's why I mentioned the mural that's right across the corner, right around the corner from Green Bean Books. Lots of murals in Portland. And I was inspired by those murals, thinking about what the chickens might do. And the little chicks, you'll have to really study the illustration and see what they're thinking about as they do their own mural. And here's a whole page about raising chickens in the city. Some people think chickens are only on farms. But I'm sure you know that chickens can live everywhere. Maybe you even have chickens at your school or chickens in your yard or chickens in your neighborhood. What I would love for you to do as you read Chickens on the Loose is think about your neighborhood. You could even draw a map. You could maybe make some pictures and you could think about where the chickens would visit if they were on the loose and they could go anywhere they wanted to in your neighborhood. And I really hope you'll get a chance to visit Green Bean Books, because if you do, you'll see a mural, you'll see little stores, you might even see some skateboard riders and a food cart. Lots of the things that are in this book. And you know what? Green Bean Books is a great place because it's full of stories. I love stories. I love reading. I love books. And I hope you do too. Thank you.